Welcome to Godlike Sundays. This is July 8th for uh, the Plevo Show. Um, we are doing Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012, and we have Predator versus. I'm ready for action. Are you ready? Scheistgeist, I think. Uh, Fred playing uh, Hakan. Actually, a really funny uh, Hakan player. Uh, he and I were uh, talking about unblockables back at UFTT. Just kind of chilling out while the button checks and uh, sitting by myself in commentary. I know Fred does play a con, but I don't know if he's really going to play a con for this matchup. So we'll have to see. He's actually going with a con. Um, this is actually a really scary matchup for Sagat because... Uh, this is actually a really scary matchup for Sagat since uh, Sagat's a big body. Um, Hakan can actually do unblockables against him with his uh, running oil grab. And it looks like our uh, hometown hero's jumping up here. So, uh, MBSOT Adrian the Truth coming in at the last minute for this match. Yeah, just at the last second. Just got through playing some AE. Oh, and this is this is what I was just talking about earlier. This is where the unblockable setups come out for mm -hmm. uh, Sagat, unfortunately, since he's a big body. Yeah. He can actually do that running oil dive on wake up over and over and over, and there's nothing he can do. And grabs the Sagat for free? Yeah. Wow. Because Sagat's so tall, that one frame standing lasts forever. Mm. Like the ma yeah, the main thing Fred needs to do is just keep him out, man. Oh, see, now he's in. Or you die. No, no, Fred's, I believe Fred, uh, Fred's actually playing the, uh... Nah, Fred's the, Fred's the Sagat. I was just playing him earlier. Yeah, I know, Fred plays Sagat, but Fred also plays Akan. Oh, really? I did yeah. not know that. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he's the Hakan because that's how Fred plays, but... Yeah, because he's in first player position and uh, it's first player con. Oh, okay. But Sagat's a popular character. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of him today. Yeah? Yeah, a couple people, man. So I either got to go against Hornet or Brent. First first match? Yeah. That's good. You yeah. can If you win, you get to take out out of town yeah. people. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's like it depends on what Brent does. If Brent wins the matchup, then I go against him. Mm -hmm. If Hornet wins the matchup, then I have to go against Makoto slash Sakura slash Guile. That's but not. I, I think I can deal with most of that though. Hey, you got the eight iron, Goken, Akuma, Hakan. If I really wanted to be dirty, I could play Hakan. Yes, you could. Uh, we'll see. Oh, just a slap out of the air. Yeah, the the standing furious. Oh, but he's getting hit with those Tiger shots. He needs to start moving. He needs to use a uh, coward stance more. Yes. But the coward stance. Oh, that was. See, the thing is, is that it was at the tip of that oil slide. Mm -hmm. So what he could have done was on the FADC, he's actually safe. Yeah. So he could actually do the oil command grab so that on the ground, so he could get the free damage off of it. Oh. Because the hit stun is just long enough for you to FADC in the command grab. Oh, so you have the frame advantage. Yeah. Okay. Because I, w I would think that's what Fred was trying to do. It was, but he didn't press anything right. Like at the end, like he didn't, he didn't scoop him. Yeah, cause I mean, it was, it was. Oh, nice, nice. There we go. Now he's starting to use that coward stance. Yeah, it's looking like a whole total different ball game. Nice standing fierce. Hakan, in my opinion, is one of the really good characters due to the fact that like he actually uh, can, can when he's oiled, he can actually cancel out of any dash mm -hmm. with any normal. Yeah, and that, that slide and focus, man, is just. Devastating. Most, most off. Yeah. You sometimes I don't even know what to do against it. You remember those Akan matchups back in the day? Oh yeah, man, definitely. Every time we used to hang out at your at your crib, man. Oh, there's a trip, and he didn't go for the unblockable. Like, uh, that was a perfect setup. Yeah. Oh, gets the slide, counter hit slide. Sagat's gonna do something. Ooh, and a grab. I respect that. Ooh, and he gets out. Oh, there Ooh. we go. That was good. The air to air standing strong, or air to air strong into the, uh, the oil slide. Yeah. I kind of wanted him to do the ultra too, but that's kind of risky at that point. Yeah. 
Man, very close match. Yeah, that was a really close match. It's actually not a good match for Hakan because Hakan can't deal with his owning. Yeah, so I'm just amazed. Well, well, a lot of people think that Hakan can just oil slide under everything, but the thing is, is that he can't. He can only do it after he touches you. Mm -hmm. So if the fireball's almost at his feet and he touches your toes, yeah, he'll slide under the fireball. But if he doesn't hit you yet, mm -hmm. and the fireball hits his toes, mm -hmm. then he gets hit out of it. Like, uh, the, the toes are what stops him from being fireball invincible. So basically, if he hits you before the, fire, before the fireball comes out, you get full animation. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. He cannot slide. Can he slide under low tiger shot? No. Okay. No, it's way too low. Okay. EX? EX tiger sh uh, EX oil slide is fully projectile invincible. Okay. Yeah, excuse me, guys. I don't know too much about Hakan here. Ilgamesh, low tier hero, knows all the low tier shenanigans. Yes. Speaking of low tier, I can't wait to get Dan out here. Uh, oh. But back to See, the match. Look, he hit that EX low tiger shot. He got hit right at the beginning of that slide. Yeah. And he, just, what? he, he needs to stop. He's getting. He's getting impatient is what's going on. He's yeah. getting really impatient because he's tired of being zoned out. And that's one thing. You can't be in Street Fighter, man. You can't be impatient. You can't take those those heavy risks, man. Especially now that, like, he wasn't oiled and now he finally has oil. Yeah. He finally has some room. But now, see, he got Sagat to the corner. So he could do a lot here. Ah, oh, but he got uppercut it and Sagat gets away. Yeah. Um, what I'm looking for him to do is not do that. I was actually looking at him for... Uh, yeah, an anti-projectile super. But because basically with his super, you can either do um, immune to projectiles, immune to grabs, or immune to uh, physical hits. Which, which, uh, what? What are you talking about? His, uh, his super. Oh. Yeah. Um, I want to say that the light version is anti-projectiles. Medium is grab or medium is uh, hits and then heavy is grabs. Wow, I did not know that. Yo, kind of sick. <laughs> yeah, like he has a lot of tricks. It's just that it's really hard to use a lot of his tools unless he's oiled. Mm -hmm. um, that's really his only downside is that he relies too much on oil. Yeah. Um, really, that's the only thing that people are asking for with the 2013 changes mm -hmm. is to reduce his reliance on oil because right now it's way too it's way too much. Oh, so they're saying he's too strong with oil. No, it's that he has to have oil too much. Like, that's uh. the problem. Like, he's useless without oil. Mm. Uh, so maybe they can link, lengthen the oil time, maybe, or make... Like, either lengthen the oil time or uh, give uh, Hakan more time that he can spend in oil. Yeah. Because there's a cap on how much he can actually be oiled. Yeah. Or shorten high, uh, when he dumps it on himself. Yeah. Because, like, like, honestly, like, he... He spends way too much time like that. And the guy with the Sagat is on match point right now. Oh, nice. What was that, Ford Fierce? Yep. Oh, wow. Feel the hands. Just the stop sign. Yeah. Get out of here. Gets the grab. Now he's back at full screen. Has to deal with the fireballs. Ah, uh, gets hit. Now, see, he has to really stay calm here. Because he loses this back to full screen. Oh, that was nice. Grab. Now let's see what he does. Nope. Is that going to hit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hakan's considered a big body. Oh. Because I didn't know. I saw him recovering, so I I didn't know. Yep. Like I said, I don't know too much about this. Giant character. body. So what was the guy name that plays the guy? Scheiss guys, I think. Something like that. I don't know. So I guess that he. Uh, mm. but next we got Hornet coming up. Yep, versus uh, Cheeseface. Straight out of Ohio versus Brent. Yep, wow. We got, we got Fort Wayne versus Cincinnati, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Mm. Hornet coming out representing Ohio out here. See, they're gonna probably run Makoto or Sakura. Or Guile. Or Guile. He told me. He told me about this guy when he was playing cross second. He was saying he really liked how uh, he is with his offense. You know, really yeah. pressing buttons. But he said after his thumb started hurting, he just stopped playing. The guy, he's like, hey, exactly. I'm done. But yeah. But I think Sakura would be the best best person to go with for Vega. 
Because, of course, yeah. Brent always runs Vega. But he could. Actually, no, because Makoto has that anti air uh, DP, and that DP is straight up, mm -hmm. and it, it knocks the shit out of her stuff. Aw, snap esports. Um, yeah, we that didn't just happen. No, we gotta edit that out later. Yeah, it knocks the stuff out of um, the wall dive. Oh, she just punches in the air and it just stops the wall dive in its tracks. Yeah, I can see it. So let's see. Of course, we're gonna have a button check first. Yes, you were right. Cuddle versus Vega. Yes. He has that DP. I'm telling you, that's he's gonna abuse the like the crap out of it because it's so. And he's going ultra two Makoto. Oh, they get away and catch Vega pressing the button. He's, well, he's using it so that way when he sees the wall dive come out, mm -hmm. when he's recovering off the wall, he can ultra two into full combo off of it because off the last hit, he can super jump cancel mm -hmm. and then do the, yeah the combo uh, the, the combo the combo yeah, yeah I know how it is yeah. I've never seen this matchup play too much. It's annoying. Yeah, but. More for Vega. I think Vega wins on the ground. They're going right into it. So, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Hornet just getting in. He ha like, Hornet has to use his better normals to really just bully Vega, which is happening right now. Because yeah. he knows that uh, with the way that Vega's like, run. Yeah. Oh, misses the fierce link, and he's got a good lead on Brent right now. Had the trade for the anti air. Yeah. Oh, eating a roundhouse though—that is never good. No, never. Oh, he misses the jumping fierce, and, and of course, it. Brent hits him with the what? Low forward in the crouch. Uh, low forward in the crouching strong. Low forward, uh, crouching strong in the wall dive. Yeah. One of Brent's classics. Oh, EX wall at the beginning of the I don't round. even care. Yeah, spin that meter, yo. I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to go against Brent. No, don't, don't, never say never, yo. Cause you never know. Hornet just may switch. But this is good for this you. Is getting really convincing. Yeah. I I thought Sakura would be better because she got she has more pressure. She Ooh. has more pressure, but the thing with Sakura is that. With Vega, you can just get out of pressure with the, the backflips. Yeah. Did you see that EX? Like, it was like he was inside of the, the box. Yep. It almost looked like some type of unblockable. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a mix-up thing, and he's going to it. Now, last time I checked, Hornet doesn't play a frame trap heavy Sakura. No. He doesn't? No, last time, I, last time I saw him play Sakura, he wasn't playing her like that. Mm. He wasn't playing it like everyone else does now. He was playing the older style of Sakura. Mm. Low forward, heavy yeah. Sakura, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out if he's going to go to that newer school style mm -hmm. or if he's going to go and stick with his old school roots to it. We're going to see. Got the gym outfit. Say so it's kind of hot out there. <laughs> I don't know. She got that sweater on. It's like, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> if it's hot, then why are you in that sweater? <laughs> Girls never making sense with their wardrobe choices. See, now I feel like here, Hornet should just, you know, throw some fireballs out. Of course, he got the crouching fears, which should be able to keep Vega out the air on wall dives. Well, the thing is, it's like the one time that he's fired. There it is. Yep. What was you saying? My bad. The times that he's oh the air throw um, there it is the one time that he's thrown that fireball he's gotten uh, Azuna drop for his troubles mm. oh yo that roundhouse is really working for him yo those top two buttons are working for him and Brent's gonna roll out he's just gonna chill back he ain't got the claw or the mask he's in trouble oh nice roundhouse. And the low for it. What I think Brent was looking for in that match was he was looking for that ultra one tra uh, trap where it's like he was just waiting for that one fireball to start out mm -hmm. and catch it because her startup on her fireball is w really bad. Yep. Like, like when I play Ryu, I could Tatsu and see that coming from a mile away. But the thing is, is right now. That wasn't even true comboing. Yeah, I, I saw that, it. That, that was all Brent pressing buttons. Yeah. But Brent looks focused, man. Like, 
I love lot. that jump back and jump forward, Pierce. Yeah. But a nice EX uppercut by Hornet. There we go, catching that forward dash. With the zone drop. Now, the Hornet. one thing that uh, that's different about... Um, Go get him that claw back. That's that's a rare for him, actually. Yeah. Ah, Hornet pick Ultra One. I'm looking at it. It's like that's all Brunt's looking forward to. See, he's doing so many of those feints. Oh. He's trying to keep him guessing every single time. Yeah. Brent's really showing that he has a very good neutral game here. Yep. You know, like Hornet, I feel like he should use Roundhouse more. Just stay in the Roundhouse because the range it has nice crouch and furious. But yeah, I feel he should use Roundhouse more, like right at that range. Yep. But but of course, Brent brings the slide, which Hornet should be waiting for. He tries to get in, tries to develop. Oh, oh don't do that. Is a, and he's going to drop off of it. And the cross up slash. Oh, I can respect that to get in. Yeah. I mean, um, Brent. Brendan and I actually had this conversation about the uh, which what he's doing right now, which is like the ST style of Vega. Mm -hmm. It only works through the plane. Um, it only works on certain characters. Ooh, that's it. He got he got some. He if he can. Oh, yo. Ultra. No reset. Tried to go for the reset. Nice way to get out. Nice. Oh, there's a jab. So the game goes to uh, Brent taking it over uh, Hornet. Cheese face immortal. Coming out on this first match looking good, man. Looking crispy. Mm. Calling out for matches. No one showing up. Yeah, we got some absent players here. Come on, guys. There aren't 90 of us today. Yo, Eli. Eli's up today. Yo, I didn't know he entered AE. Yo, Eli. Turn that butter. Yo, I believe in you, dog. I believe in you. Represent. Come on, Doc. Yeah, let's go, Doc. Turn that butter, Doc. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, Eli. You know, one of our greatest Marvel. Is it like see no beat as in like, you know, you don't see a beat? Like see no beat. Okay, yeah. so instead of see no evil, just see no beat. Yeah. So does that mean that he has like two left feet? I don't know what that means. Like he, he just he just can't see a beat ever? He says, I don't see no beats. I just see frames. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's see if he I mean, like. That, that could be a Guilty Gear reference. You're right. That's That, that could be. Who knows, man? Yeah, we back to the Capcom screen. Got the game back on. We back running. Got L O V E body weight creep. Wait a minute. N B S O T L O 